Everybody, Kerr from Simple Tech Dad here with another quick review. Today, I want to talk about the Starlink Mini. The Starlink Mini has been a game changer. Um, SpaceX and Elon Musk came out with Starlink three, four years ago. I pre-ordered it. It was fantabulous. Um, did everything that I wanted to do. And then he came out with one that was for being on top of the car. I picked that one up because we were traveling a lot and I wanted to make sure he stayed connected. And then last year, he came out with this Starlink Mini. Now, the Starlink Mini is... It's a game changer. It's a simple, no brainer. Um, it's, it's tiny. It uses very little power. It has built in Wi Fi or Ethernet. You can plug in Ethernet as well. Um, to give you an idea of how big it is, this is my Dell 14 inch laptop. You can see side by side, it's not much bigger than a laptop. Um, if you took this case off, it'd be even smaller. Now, this case, I wanted to show this to you. The case that I use is for traveling on the car. So there are four magnets here and all I literally do is just go thunk, boom, I put it in there and then I take this cord, which is a USB-C to Starlink mini cable, and I literally just close the door on it. Um, I carry more than one because eventually that cable will break from doing it, it's pinching it just enough um, and there are tiny little cables inside. So I carry two and then I power with a battery similar to this. So this is the EcoFlow Trail 300 DC. Now this is... 288 watt hours. This handle is 20 watts average. This will run the Starlink Mini for about 10 hours. So that's a pretty big deal. Um, it has an extra USB-C cable, two USB-As, and it even has a 12 volt. So if you need to power things while you're camping, let's say you have a CPAP, you have a DC power for it, you can run that right out of the cigarette lighter. You can charge your phone, your iPad, and run your Starlink. Now, this little battery run this by itself for about 10 hours. So you have to think about that if you're going to start charging other devices this will run out of power but that's where the solar panels come in this is a tiny little 45 watt solar panel and it just plugs into the xt60 cable here using this orange cable and when it does it'll charge that's a 45 watts so it'll charge up to you know 45 watts max now realize you're usually going to get probably about 30 um but if you're only using 20 and you're putting 30 in you have a positive of 10 that's going to charge this up you can get a 100 watt panel you can get a 200 watt panel um, you just want to make sure that you're watching the volts volts are key for solar because this charger inside this mptt uh, charger for the solar can only handle 30 volts you don't want to exceed that or you'll literally smoke the unit and it won't ever be able to be used as a solar charger again so just be careful of that i just want to make sure we talked about it because we haven't talked about solar yet you can also charge this little box both usb-c ports are bi-directional so you can do 140 watts in for each so if you happen to walk back to your car and you have two cigarette lighters or you have something you can plug in and you can charge it back up real quick, you can go ahead and just charge this back up for the night and then have this running and keeping everything going that you want. This is lightweight, weighs five pounds. This weighs about two pounds. Solar panels, if you get portable ones, can be light-ish or they can be a little heavier, but it depends on which size you want. If you're trying to go light, then go with something small. And, you know, I could probably get the solar panel uh, the Starlink, this, and, you know, a phone running for probably two days before it ran out all the way. And I had to, you know, go back and charge it somewhere. So if you're just doing a day trip, this right here is the way to go. Put it in a backpack, toss this in a backpack, even the solar panel in a backpack. You're good to go. You can go hiking. You, uh, you set up the camp to, you know, have lunch or to go to bed for the night. All of this will work perfectly fine. So Starlink Mini will keep you online. You can see. I'm online right here. I'm just in my backyard. I literally set it on top of this swing powered by this, and that's being charged back up by the, uh, the solar panel. So I'll put links below for everything. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And as always, please like and subscribe, and I will keep bringing you more good content. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.